Hello and welcome to this World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and this one comes to us from me. That's right, finally I have begun playing World of Tanks again. Uh, finally managed to get my client updated to 8.0 the other night and was able to get in and have a few games. So decided to do one of my replays today. Uh, this game isn't an absolutely amazing game where I don't go and get uh, 8 or 9 kills or anything but it is a good example of teamwork and I feel that it was a fairly good game and I acquitted myself fairly well so decided to bring you this replay. Straight off the bat anybody who has played 8.0 or the 7.5 will notice the, uh, the amazing graphical improvements that the client now brings and even just small little details like the sound effects you'll notice that the sounds of your tank driving and the gun sounds are vastly improved over what they used to be. Of course having your settings turned all the way up to maximum or even high will really put a big hit on your computer so <laughs> really get the most out of it you need a pretty good PC. But then again even with a not so fantastic PC you can still get good you can still get a, a good quality and uh, graphics quality with reasonable performance out of the, uh, the new engine. So good job by Wargaming there. So back to this game, we notice that a lot of our guys are rushing on the left hand flank there. So it's going to be left up to me and this Tiger tank to try and push out this right hand flank. So the two of us are pretty much going to have to be pretty careful. Uh, oh no, it looks like we've got an M4 with us. So we're just going to try and get a hit on this uh, T-49, but unfortunately managed to miss him, even though I'm pretty sure he filled most of my crosshair there. So we're going to have a, yeah, another shot at him and try and take him out. But no, again filled the entire crosshair and I somehow managed to miss him. But it's okay because the M4 was able to finish him off. So now we're just going to have to play it careful because we've got a Tiger and an IS which are obviously a match for a Tiger and a T29 so we're going to have to play this one smart. Although it looks like we have another T29 sneaking up on us from the left hand side there. I don't know how he got around our T29 which was supposed to be in the town. Just me being a bit of an idiot and not reversing far enough and getting stuck on a building. So a bit of an idiot play by me there. So I'm just going to wait for this T29 because I don't think he realises that I am here and aiming at him. So I'll take out his track, try and save the Tiger from taking too much more damage. He's still there so should be able to land another shot on him unless somebody else takes him out. Nope. There we go, managed to take him out no problem whatsoever. So it looks like the IS is trying to advance on our T29 there so I'm going to let the Tiger tank come at him from the side, oh no, our T29 has been destroyed, so I'm going to let our Tiger tank distract him from the side there, and I'm going to try and sneak around, oh no, it's the IS, so I'm going to try and sneak around behind this IS, and get a shot on the back of him without realising what's happening, unfortunately, he managed to sneak away, and I see the Tiger tank coming in from the right hand side there, so I'm going to duck down this side street here, just to avoid getting shot in the rear by that Tiger, I definitely don't want that to happen. So it looks like this IS is just really pushing through and trying to make it to the base. Unfortunately, again, he doesn't realise that I'm here backing up our Tiger tank and I was again able to finish that guy off there. So me and the Tiger tank really work pretty well here. He gets a shot on the tank and then falls back to try and lure them out. They then go and try and chase him, not realising that there uh, is me waiting for them. Oh, I got it hit by the tiger there so yeah he pulls them out of their hiding place they try and follow him and then obviously I'm waiting for them and shoot them in the side without them realizing what's happening so unfortunately the our tiger tank has advanced off and kind of left me in the lurch here Looks like that one went right through. as it's going to be me versus a tiger luckily I managed to land my first hit and he whiffed his first hit he whiffed his shot and totally missed, so I'm pretty sure I'm heavier like than a tiger. Right so I'm just going to charge him and turret hook him, which worked out pretty well, and then the tiger decides to come back and picks up the kill. 
So yeah, I'm pretty sure that my tank was heavier than his, so I was go. able to get a good bit of ramming damage on there. And one of the tactics you can use with the T29, because it has such strong turret armour, is you can just do what's called turret W, where you get in really close and keep contact with the enemy's tank. And the only shot they can get on you because of their gun uh, depression is on your turret. So really, they've gotten very little chance of actually getting a penetrating hit on you. So it's a very safe tactic to use. So I'm just going to let our Tiger distract that Yag Panther while I try and sneak up behind him. How's the game going so far? Well, we're winning 10-9, but that's not the right one about there. Still go either way. Although it looks like we have been destroyed on the left-hand flank there, as we only have one tank destroyer left, unless we are just out of communications range. So, Tiger having a bit of a duel with that Yag Panther there. I angled my camera like this just to try and get a sense of which direction the Yag Panther was facing so that I could attempt to come up behind him. Just like that, and take him out. So, just going to keep on driving now because there's there's going to be their artillery is going to be focusing right on us now because we're pushing in in the way he is. So we're just going to have to keep driving and hope we can get through unscathed. So they only have what is that? That's an M6, Dicker Max, and an SU8. So the SU8 is probably hiding in these bushes somewhere, and he's going to see me and the Tiger tank and our what is that coming up the centre there? And our Yag Panzer. Uh, coming up the centre, so he's probably going to be making tracks and running for his life any minute now. So I'm just going to have to spot him, and there he is, making a run down the left-hand flank. I decided just to have a shot there, because I can see very little of him poking out through the top of the hill, but I might as well have the shot just in case. Because let's face it, there isn't really anybody else around here uh, that I can't get a shot on. So it looks like the Dicker Max is waiting just over there. Luckily, it looks like he hit either my turret or I got a lucky ricochet as he was unable to get any damage on me. So I'm just going to try and get in close and guarantee a hit. Oh, nope, there we go. He gets taken out by our Hummel. So they just have an M6, not really sure where he is as we have a guy coming up the left-hand flank and we still haven't seen him. So he's either waiting AFK somewhere or we've just missed him. He could be hiding in those rocks where our SU-100 M1 hasn't checked. Yes, that was indeed where he was hiding. So I'm just going to go and move in and try and take out this M6, because it's always better to wipe out the enemy and make them pay their repair bills. So there you go, that's the end of that game. Now, unfortunately, the thing about the new recordings is because the score screen is handled in the garage now that won't be included with the videos so what I would ask if you guys do decide to send a replay in if you can be bothered after you've um, had a good game go and do a screen capture of the just uh, press print screen and save the pictures or they should be saved in your world of tanks directory somewhere just do a screen capture of the three score screens and send those attached to the email along with your replays and it just means that can include those at the end you can see what kind of credits and experience got and we can really analyze um, damage and everything that everybody's done so thanks very much for watching guys and remember if you do want to send in your own replays please keep those coming in uh, and send those to replay at screenreality.com that's replay at screenreality.com and if you can be bothered take screen captures of the score screens in the garage and go ahead and attach those to the emails so thanks very much for watching guys and I will catch you next time